Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have one last chance to make it in Hollywood, according to one royal expert. It was announced this week that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex would be producing a screen version of Carly Fortune's novel The Meet Me at the Lake. The latest opportunity for the California-based couple is part of their mega £80 million deal with Netflix. The streaming giant bought the rights to the book for £3 million. The film will be produced by the Sussex's production company, Archul Productions. A source close to the couple said, the themes of the book gripped the couple and it was chosen for their first adaptation with Netflix. Kate Mancy, assistant editor of The Mail on Sunday, told Palace Confidential that it was the couple's last chance to make a success of it in Hollywood. She said that many important figures in Hollywood will be watching very closely how the couple handles this film. The royal expert said, it does feel like last chance saloon for that Netflix deal. They've lost the Spotify deal and there are question marks over what their future is as media operators within Hollywood. I think everyone will be watching this and there'll be a lot at stake with this project. It was first reported that the couple themselves had bought the rights to the novel. However, it later emerged that Netflix gave the project to the Sussexes themselves. The original book is about two long-lost lovers, Will and Fern, whose paths cross by chance a decade after first meeting. This comes after a troubled relationship between the Sussexes and Netflix. Don't miss! Putin humiliated as ruble currency crash sparks televised meltdown, analysis, Russian tank drives off cliff in desperate attempt to flee Ukraine attack, latest, Harry and Meghan accused of taking advantage of royal family's silence, comment, Netflix has already cancelled one Sussex project. Meghan Markle's animated series Pearl. However, the couple's six-part Harry and Meghan documentary was incredibly successful for the platform. The first episode was watched by an average of 4.5 million people in the UK in the seven days after it was released. Another project, a docu-series entitled Heart of Invictus, has yet to be released, 